what's up sorry this chair is really squeaky if that if you do hear that what's up guys um so i had a little learning day with trav today and first off take it easy on me i am no expert by any means um i get i've been around drag racing my whole life but i just started racing uh three years ago and like full fledged into it just recently so take it easy on me but uh, i thought it was pretty cool and i'm sharing this with you guys in case some of you might not know of it some of you may some of you might get entertainment out of it who knows but hopefully along the way it can at least help someone so i was asking trav um driving the finish line um like for this example video that we're going to show is i took 23 and i'm like well what exactly is 23 like how many feet is that and he's like, well, there's a conversion rate for it. And I'm like, okay, well, what is it? Because for me, it's easier to see feet. Like, oh, I took X, X feet. Like, that's easier for me to see. Um, like I said, just personal preference. But we got this from draglist.com. We did not um, come up with this, make this up. So we got this from draglist.com. And basically, um, to do the conversion. So in this run, I'm about to show you guys right here. Um, my opponent's mile per hour is 136 miles per hour. So what you do is take 136 miles per hour and multiply it by 1.466. So let's take 136 miles per hour times 1.466, which equals 199.376. Multiply this by the true margin of victory. And in this case, in this video, my true margin of victory was 0.023. So I'm going to multiply that, and that comes to 4.585648. So basically on that run with the closing rate, the mile per hour that my opponent had, I took four and a half feet. So to me, it's just it's a lot easier to see um, like what four and a half feet is. Like I can mentally visualize that easier um, then I can visualize 23. Like I said, it's just me, but I thought it was super cool because it was something uh, we found like a conversion to it. So it might help someone out there. Um, it might not. Maybe you guys already know it. Either way, I just wanted to share with you guys because I thought it was pretty cool. And if you know me, I am a why, why, why person. You can ask Trav. You can ask anybody that knows me. I'm always like, why this? Well, why does that work like that? Like, I want to truly understand it. And, um, I do have to give a shout out to Luke Bogacki because listening to his podcast, talking with him, uh, it truly, the more you can understand about racing, your car, um, the track, everything as a whole, you can become a better racer. So. Mm -hmm.